authentic, guaranteed, natural Jadeite Jade Bangles sell appropriately for $600, $1,000, $2,000 and even in the tens of thousands for fine quality. So why are so many natural jade bangles priced at $10, $50, and $100 on the internet? Why the price difference? Why are some so cheap and others so expensive? Today we're going to get to the bottom of this and find out which of these bangles are and aren't natural as advertised. Before we get started, thank you so much for watching. Today I'm wearing my natural carved Jadeite Jade Mason K Jade earrings. These are available for sale at this time. You can purchase them from your local independent jeweler who does business with Mason K Jade. And if you just absolutely don't have a jade dealer in your area, you could go to mkjjewelry.com and use the discount code JOT. If you're new here, this channel is dedicated to spreading accurate information about jewelry and gemstones, so please consider subscribing to our channel. Give this video a like if it helps you. And before we get started, answer this question for me in the comments. Is having natural gemstones important to you? Or are you also interested in treated stones, lab created gems, and simulants? There is no wrong answer, I just want to hear what you have to say. In this video, we're going to show actual gemological testing of allegedly jade bangles by jade expert Jeff Mason of Mason K Jade, the US's leading supplier of natural jadeite since 1976. The types of tests typically used for determining the authenticity of jade are refractometry and spectroscopy. Refractometry can help us determine if a stone is jade or another gemstone entirely, which I talk more about in my video, are jade rollers made from real jade? Link below. And spectroscopy can reveal if jade is natural and untreated or impregnated with polymer or resin. Let's start with the Dentang bangle from Amazon, labeled Chinese natural jade for $22.49. All right, what do I think? This jade bangle comes with a cert, cert, which from experience I know means nothing. You should only trust gem reports coming from reputable companies such as GIA, AGL, Mason K Jade, and whatever other labs your local jeweler may recommend. So looking at this bangle, this is gorgeous. It's yummy, gummy, and translucent. The number one indicator that this probably isn't natural jade is definitely its appearance. Natural jade with this type of translucency would fetch much, much higher prices than $22 on Amazon. But we are gemologists and we test to know best. Here is Jeff Mason spot testing the Dentang bangle from Amazon using a refractometer. Quartz. Quartz. Quartz! This explains the low price point as quartz is inexpensive and abundant. Lots of people turn to the internet when trying to determine if their own personal pieces of jade are genuine or not. Unfortunately, almost all of the advice I've seen pop up on a quick search is completely unreliable and sometimes downright wrong. I know I'm a random person on the internet, but please believe me when I say not to trust random people on the internet. The irony is not lost on me. As I've mentioned before in other videos, if you have questions about the authenticity of your jade, you should talk to your local Jew or contact Mason K. Jade directly about their testing services. Let's talk about some of the indicators that the internet touts as reliable that actually aren't reliable at all. Number one, the scratch test. It is true that if you take a steel knife to jade, the jade won't scratch because the jade is harder or more resistant to scratching than the knife. However, Many jade simulants are also harder than steel, such as quartz. Therefore, the resultant lack of a scratch is not a reliable indicator. The cold test. I've even heard some ignorant jewelry professionals say that if you pick up a piece of jade and it's cold, then it's jade. This is moronic. Lots of gemstones are cold. Cold is relative, just think about it for like two seconds. For jade bangles specifically, there's also the ping test. Natural jade has sonority, meaning that in a natural jade bangle with no fractures, if you ping it with a steel object or another piece of jade, it will sing out a, a, like a beautiful ping sound, whereas other materials will typically thud. The ping test isn't always 100% reliable, but it can be a pretty good indicator in store if you're trying to determine if you need to send your bangle into Mason K Jade for testing. So here is the Dentang bangle from Amazon that we know for a fact is quartz. 
that's not really the sound we're looking for. So in the case of this particular bangle, if you didn't have access to proper testing, the ping test would have been a pretty good indicator that it's not jade. The brake test. Interestingly enough, the internet says that if you drop your jade bangle or your jade roller and it breaks, then it probably is real jade. And if it doesn't break, they say that it probably isn't real jade. This is hilarious because nephrite and jadeite are two of the toughest gemstones on the planet, meaning they're the hardest to break. I'm not saying they won't break if you drop them, but they totally can. I'm curious about this, so I'm going to drop all three of the jade bangles in question today just for fun. We have to drop each bangle from the same height onto the same surface. So I'm just going to drop them from chest height onto the sidewalk. I'm not surprised at all that it broke. Moving on to bangle number two. This one looks almost the same as the first one. The inside diameter is a little smaller, but the color is really similar, so that's not a good sign. This is called Jadeite Jade Bangle on Amazon and sells for $99.99. Yes, it's more expensive than the first one, even though they look really similar. Is that price an indicator that it could be real? Again, for this type of translucency in natural Jadeite, you're talking thousands and thousands of dollars. So if you don't have access to testing, I got my butter knife, here's the ping test. Not the sound we're looking for. Still a little thuddy. A natural jade bangle will sing. It's like, ha. Ah. I mean, it's not quite like that. It's like, see. Regardless, based on the price and based on the lack of sonority, it's very unlikely that this is jade. Let's find out what it is. Here's Jeff testing this bangle with a refractometer. Yeah. No question, a clear quartz reading. Clear quartz reading. And here is Jeff testing the same bangle for the presence of polymer using FTIR or infrared spectroscopy. Actually, there is polymer in it. We are finding more and more that there is impregnation of polymer in quartz. <laughs> and this looks very much like a quartz pattern, but it's impregnated. This is, this is the polymer impregnation spiking. I wonder if this impregnated quartz bangle will survive the drop test. I knew it. On to the third and final bangle. This bangle from Carrot Gem is called Natural Jadeite Jade Round Bangle and sells on Amazon for $94.99. This is opaque and it's teeny tiny. What do you think? Do you think this is jade? It's so small. It's tiny. Jadeite Jade. Jadeite Jade? This is Jadeite. So I was a little surprised since it came from Amazon, but refractometry showed that it is Jadeite. Is it natural Jadeite though? Some jade is acid bleached and impregnated with polymer or resin, which we call B Jade, which is often not disclosed. We test for this presence of polymer using spectroscopy. And it's very important to know because B Jade is valued at about five to 10% of the value of its natural Jade counterpart. Natural Jade should be called a jade. Don't be confused by this as a jade is not a quality grade. It just means it's untreated. If jade is dyed, its value is even lower and we don't call it a jade, we call it C jade. We test to see if the jade is dyed first because regardless of polymer, dyed jadeite jade has almost no value. Here is Jeff Mason testing this jade bangle for dye. He's shining a light through the stone to find a dye line. And not a clear dye line. So. Next, Jeff is going to use FTIR, or infrared spectroscopy, to find out if there's any polymer or resin inside this bangle. It's got a little noise there, but yet it's got a dip, and it doesn't have spiking here. I mean, a little bit, but this is not, if I had to make a call, I'd say it was natural. And I didn't really get any dye pattern, so I would say it's natural jade. What? Amazon sold a jade bangle that's actually jade? I am shocked. Now you saw it. We tested this. It's natural jade. There's no polymer or resin inside of this bangle. It came out of the ground this way and then it was carved. But watch. That's not the sound we're looking for. So if natural jade is supposed to ping and this didn't ping, what's up with this bangle? The reason a natural jade bangle will ping is because it's one solid piece that the sound will travel through. In this particular case, there must be a fracture in this bangle, which is stopping the sound from traveling. So it is a natural jade bangle, but it does not ping. I just don't have a good example of a really good ping, but don't worry, that video is coming soon. Now let's drop it and find out if it breaks. 
I can't believe it broke. So yes, jade can break and you do want to be super careful with it. The particular reason that this bangle broke may be the same reason that it won't ping. It could be because of the fracture inside. Be careful with your jewelry, folks. There you have it. If you're interested in buying any of these beautiful bangles, I'm including links below. If you'd like a natural jade bangle that is adult sized and guaranteed untreated and beautiful, ask your local jeweler about Mason K Jade. You can buy natural jade from your local independent jewelry store, or you can order it from Mason K directly, but be warned, choosing a bangle is very tricky and getting the size right really warrants help from your local jewelry store. So please go and see them. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out the links in the description and don't forget to subscribe.